Dear Pepper and George, here is a present for you to share. Love from your Auntie Dottie. Auntie Dottie lives far away in another country. Ooh, what is the present? It's got wheels. Car! <laughs> it's not a car, George. It's got legs. It's a table. <laughs> it's got a tail. Oh, tables don't have tails. There's a handle as well. What can it be? There's something else in the box. It's a toy horse. I shall call it Twinkle Toes. Horsey! Twinkle Toes. Horsey! Twinkle Toes! Horsey! Remember, children, Aunt Dottie sent the present for both of you. You'll have to share. Sharing can be fun. Can I play with Twinkle Toes first? Let George have the first turn. He's the youngest. <laughs> horsey! Horsey! <laughs> George likes playing with horsey. George, it is called Twinkle Toes, not horsey. Now it's Peppa's turn. I am Princess Peppa with my magic horse, Twinkle Toes. Peppa likes playing with Twinkle Toes. <laughs> Perhaps you should play with the toy horse outside. Yes, Mummy. <laughs> hmm, it's a bit steep here. Maybe you should play at the bottom of the hill. And the quickest way down the hill is to ride down. Are you sure, Daddy? Don't crash like you always do. Ho, oh, oh. ho, I know what I'm doing, Peppa. I'm a grown-up. Yeah! <laughs> Pepper Pig. Lemonade, my favourite. Mmm, that's lovely. Here, sit down. Are you hungry? I'm always hungry. No worries. We'll make lunch. Mr Kangaroo is going to cook lunch on a barbecue. Corn on the cob, anyone? Yummy. Yummy. We should do this at our house. Hang on. This is our house. Come on, Kylie. Let's play in the garden. We can play my favourite game, jumping up and down in muddy puddles. I like jumping too. First, we have to find a puddle. Oh, there aren't any muddy puddles. The ground is too dry for muddy puddles. I wish it would rain. I hope it doesn't rain. Oh, we love rain. We don't see much of it back home. Well, if you want to make it rain in this country, have a barbecue. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we can still do jumping. George is quite good at jumping, but I am the best. Watch this. That's how you do it. Now you try, Kylie. OK. <laughs> Kangaroos can jump very high. Wow! Here is Rebecca Rabbit. Hello, Rebecca. This is my friend, Kylie. Hello, Kylie. Squeak! Are you playing a game? We are jumping. Rabbits are the best at jumping. Watch this. Well done, Rebecca. But that's not as good as my friend Kylie. Go on, do your jump. I don't want to show off. Do it. OK. That is high. <laughs> Peppa Pig. It is talent day. My talents are skipping, singing and dancing. I practised them all last night. I was practising watching television last night. <laughs> That's not a talent. Madam Gazelle said so. What can I do then? Who would like to show us their talent first? <laughs> Danny Dog? I can bang a drum. I can bang it louder. No, that was lovely, Danny. Hey. Pedro Pony, what is your talent? Magic tricks. Ahem. <clears throat> Here is a glass of water. It is wet and see-through. Ah. Now I will make the water disappear. Ooh. Please close your eyes. 
open your eyes. <gasps> the water has gone. Thank you. <coughs> Emily Elephant. I'm going to play the recorder. <gasps> And what is your talent, Rebecca? I can make a special noise. <coughs> it only works if I go up on my tiptoes. <coughs> that was very good. Yes, but what can I do? Candy, what is your talent? Skipping. I was going to do skipping. But I can still do dancing and singing. My talent is singing. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Peppa, ring the bell. Aye, aye, Captain Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a bit hungry. So am I. Grandpa's left us a picnic in the galley. What's a galley? A galley is a boat's little kitchen. Follow me. Peppa and George are going inside the boat. Wow! <laughs> what a tiny little kitchen. Where's the picnic? The obvious place would be here. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a picnic. Then it must be here. And that's not a picnic. This kitchen has everything in the wrong place. Wow! TV! Daddy Pig cannot find the picnic. It's impossible. If this was my kitchen, the picnic would be here. Oh, well done, Peppa. Peppa has found the picnic. <laughs> <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> oh, it's the ducks. <laughs> Hello, Mrs. Duck. Would you like some bread? <laughs> Peppa and George love feeding bread to ducks. <laughs> Look out! Long reeds ahead. Don't worry. Grandpa's boat will easily go through them. Are we stuck? No. We can reverse. Now are we stuck? Yes. Oh, dear. Grandpa's boat is stuck in the reeds. I'll just give it a little push. Do be careful, Daddy Pig. I know what I'm doing. When I say go, start the engine. Aye, aye, Captain, Captain Daddy, Daddy Pig. Pig. Go! <laughs> Daddy Pig has pushed the boat out of the reeds. Hooray! <laughs> Peppa Pig! Ooh, I know where there's food, but we must be very quiet. <laughs> Shh, Susie. Shh, Peppa. Quiet. Mummy Zebra has woken up. We're going to have the best midnight feast ever. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? You'll wake Daddy Zebra. Now, who knows a nice, gentle bedtime story? Me. And me. I'll start. Once upon a time, there was a little fairy. Now your turn, Peppa. And she lived in the forest. She was very pretty. And she had a fairy wand. Lovely. Your turn, Emily. Tell us what happens next. Well, I'm not really sure. Just say anything, Emily. As long as it's not boring. OK. The little fairy met a big monster who went... <laughs> too scary! <laughs> What's all this noise? Oh, dear. The noise has woken Mr Zebra. Sorry, Daddy. There was a story about a fairy and a scary monster. And we want to know what happens next. Very well. <coughs> The monster lifted up his big, hairy paws oh. and walked along on his big, hairy feet. Ooh. And he said... Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Mr Zebra's song has sent everyone to sleep. 
Peppa and George love playing in the long grass. Daddy Pig is going to read his newspaper. Ah, what a nice day for doing nothing. Daddy Pig loves doing nothing. Oh, goodness me, Daddy Pig. We've let the garden get a bit out of control. What do you mean, Mummy Pig? The grass. It needs cutting. Oh, I quite like it. It's the wild garden look. <laughs> Mummy, Daddy, come and play in the long grass. It's fun. <laughs> OK, let's all play with this spotty ball. <laughs> <laughs> oh, where's it gone? The ball is lost in the long grass. Now we'll never find it. Hmm, maybe it is time to cut the grass. Yes, Daddy Pig. I'll get the lawnmower. I'm sure it's here somewhere. Ah, here it is. Daddy Pig has found the lawnmower. It's a bit old and rusty. Nonsense. It'll have the grass cut in no time. It does seem a bit rusty. Maybe I should phone Grandpa Pig and ask if we can borrow his lawnmower. There's no need to phone Grandpa. I just need to push a bit harder. Daddy Pig's lawnmower is not very good. Oh. I know. Let's phone Grandpa. Hello, Grandpa Pig speaking. Hello, Grandpa Pig. Could you help us cut some very long grass? Oh, <laughs> certainly. I'll be over right away. Bye. I think this is a job for Betsy. Peppa Pig. Ooh, dinosaur. George's birthday treat is a visit to the museum dinosaur room. Huh, silly old dinosaurs again. <laughs> dinosaur. <gasps> Be frightened, George. It's not a real dinosaur. It's just a robot. Look, I stand on this spot and. <laughs> and now there's another surprise. <laughs> All of George and Peppa's friends are here. Surprise! <laughs> Mummy Rabbit has made a birthday cake for George. Can anyone guess what sort of cake it is? A dinosaur cake. It is! What an amazing guess, Peppa! Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, George! George. <laughs> There's one last surprise. Follow me. <laughs> what is the last surprise? What do you think it is, Peppa? It's probably something to do with dinosaurs. Oh, what's that? <laughs> it just needs to be filled with air. I know, I know. It's a bouncy castle. Peppa loves bouncy castles. But if it's for George, why isn't it something to do with dinosaurs? <laughs> it is a dinosaur. A bouncy dinosaur. <laughs> George loves bouncy dinosaurs. Everyone loves bouncy dinosaurs. <laughs> this is great! Happy birthday, George! <laughs> Peppa Pig! <laughs> yes? Hello, it's Daddy Pig. Hello, Daddy Pig! Can I press the button too? <laughs> of course, Peppa. Yes? It's me. Oh, hello, me. Come in. <laughs> <laughs> My office is on the top floor. We have to go up in the lift. Can I press the button? I think it's George's turn. Press the top button, George. <laughs> Ooh. The lift is taking Pepper, George and Daddy Pig up to the very top floor. Wow. Top floor, doors opening. 
This is Daddy Pig's office. Hello, everyone. Hello, Daddy Pig. Hello, Daddy Pig. Mr Rabbit and Mrs Cat work with Daddy Pig. I've brought two very special visitors with me today. <coughs> Peppa and George. What an honour. Let's begin the tour. Mr Rabbit, can we start at your desk? We certainly can. <clears throat> My job is all about numbers. I take very important pieces of paper, I take a rubber stamp, and I stamp the paper. Wow! What a great job Mr Rabbit has. Can I do some stamping? Of course. I'll just find you some paper. Here's some paper. <laughs> uh, maybe we should use some blank paper. Here you are. Peppa likes stamping with rubber stamps. I like doing Mr Rabbit's job. <laughs> <laughs> On with the tour. Peppa Pig. The next event is the long jump. <laughs> George and Richard have to see who can jump the furthest. George, run as fast as you can, then jump as far as you can. <laughs> George, ready? Steady, go! <laughs> George has jumped as far as he can. And now it's Richard Rabbit's turn. <laughs> if Richard doesn't run, he won't jump very far. Richard Rabbit, ready, steady, go! <laughs> Richard Rabbit has jumped <laughs> further than George. And the winner is Richard Rabbit. Hooray! <laughs> George, remember, it's not the winning that matters, but taking part. <laughs> the next race is the relay. Each child needs to pick a parent to race with. Peppa, pick me! Pick me! But, Daddy, you're not very good at running. I was very good when I was a little piggy. But now you have a big tummy. But I can still touch my toes. <laughs> Nearly. <laughs> Right, Daddy, but you must run very fast. <laughs> the mummies and daddies will run the first part of the race and then hand the batons to the children. Mummies and daddies, ready, steady, go! <laughs> run, 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 Daddy Pig is in the lead. Come on, Daddy! Come on, Daddy! Thank you, Daddy. You did very well. Now it's my turn to Peppa, stop talking and run! Oh! <laughs> Keep on running! Keep on running! Go on! Peppa Pig! Yes? Who is it? A young pig named George would like to pay a visit. Can he come in? As long as he takes off his muddy boots. George, take your boots off. Then you can visit Pepper in the treehouse. <laughs> Who is it? George? <laughs> <laughs> yes? Who is it? It's Mummy Pig. Have you room for any more visitors? Hmm. You have to say the secret words. Then you can come into our house. <laughs> I see. And what are the secret words? I have to whisper them to you. The secret words are Daddy's big tummy. I see. <laughs> <laughs> Say the secret words. Daddy's big tummy. That's right. Daddy's big tummy. <laughs> I think those are silly secret words. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy, before you come in our house, you must take off your boots. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> There's room for Daddy, too. Say the secret words, Daddy. Can I have different secret words, please? No. <laughs> oh, all right. Daddy's big tummy. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. You can come in now, Daddy. Take your boots off. Uh, I don't think I can fit through the door. <laughs> That's because your tummy's too big. <laughs> I know. 
Daddy Pig can climb in through the top. Pepper, George, Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig are all in the treehouse. <laughs> Peppa Pig! <laughs> it is a lovely sunny day. Pepper and George are having a picnic. Here's some orange juice for you, Daddy. What do you say? Thank you very much, Pepper. You're very welcome, Teddy. Here's some orange juice for you, Mr Dinosaur. And what do you say? Grrr. You're very welcome, Mr Dinosaur. <laughs> Would Teddy or Mr Dinosaur like a cookie? We're not very hungry. So Pepper and George can eat all the cookies. <laughs> Thank you, Teddy. <laughs> <laughs> What was that strange noise? Peppa, George, quick, come inside the house. Mummy, there was a loud bang sound. It's thunder, Peppa. It means there will be a thunderstorm with lots of rain. Quick, into the house before the rain starts. <laughs> no need to panic. The rain is still a long way off. The sky is getting darker and darker. There is going to be a thunderstorm. Pepper, George, did you bring all your toys in from the garden? Dinosaur. Good. Mr Dinosaur is safe. Teddy! I left Teddy in the garden. He'll get wet. Don't worry, Pepper. Daddy Pig will rescue Teddy. You'd better hurry, Daddy Pig. It's just about to rain. I know all about thunderstorms. It won't rain for ages. <laughs> As I thought, plenty of time before it rains. Peppa Pig! Peppa, what are you doing? I'm brushing my tooth so it's nice and clean for the tooth fairy. <laughs> Peppa cannot wait to get into bed. Pepper is putting her tooth under the pillow for the tooth fairy. Good night, Pepper and George. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, Mummy. <laughs> Good night, Daddy. Good night, my little piggies. <laughs> George, I'm not going to sleep. <laughs> Let's both stay awake all night and see the tooth fairy. <laughs> <laughs> This tooth fairy is very late. <sighs> the tooth fairy is taking a long time to arrive. Where is that tooth fairy? <sighs> what is that noise? Is it the tooth fairy? George, can you hear something? <sighs> oh, George. Oh, the noise is George. He was so tired he has fallen asleep. George is not very good at staying awake, but I am. I'm going to stay awake and see the Tooth Fairy. I'm not going to sleep. <coughs> the Tooth Fairy has arrived. But Pepper is asleep. Hello, Pepper. Would you like this coin in return for your tooth? <coughs> What a nice clean tooth. Thank you, Peppa. Good night. <laughs> Peppa Pig! Look! It's getting windy. Now that it is windy, the kite can fly. <laughs> the wind is quite strong now. <laughs> Wind is very strong now. <laughs> George! <laughs> Thank you, Daddy. <laughs> Daddy Pig flies the kite. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> higher, higher. <laughs> Daddy Pig flies the kite very well. 
Yes, I am a bit of an expert at these things. Watch out for the trees. You might get the kite stuck in one. Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. Oh, dear. Daddy Pig has got the kite caught in a tree. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> Don't worry, George. Daddy will get the kite down. Hooray! <laughs> Uh, yes. <laughs> Careful! There's a big muddy puddle. Pepper and George love to jump in muddy puddles. Can we jump in the puddle? Please? <laughs> no, I don't want you covered in mud. Oh. Stand back, children. Please be careful, Daddy Pig. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. Please be careful. <laughs> Just a bit further, Daddy. <laughs> Daddy Pig, you are much too heavy for that branch. Nonsense. I know exactly how heavy I am. There. Daddy Pig has rescued the kite. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Daddy Pig is taking the stabilizers off Peppa's bicycle. Are you sure you want to ride without stabilizers? Yes. You've never done it before. I can do it. I can. I can. Ah. <laughs> it's not funny. Riding without stabilizers is not easy. Would you like some help, Peppa? Yes, please, Daddy. All right. Ready, steady, go! Don't let go, Daddy. Don't worry. I've got you. You're doing really well, Peppa. Hold on, Daddy. <laughs> Just keep pedalling. Peppa is riding on her own without stabilizers. Daddy, you let go! <laughs> You've been cycling on your own for ages. Have I? You're really very good at it. Am I? Oh, I can do it. Look at me, look at me. I can ride my bike properly. <coughs> Daddy, Susie, Rebecca, look. I don't need my stabilizers anymore. <coughs> Look at me! Hooray! <laughs> Race you to Daddy's pumpkin! <laughs> Peppa, look out! My pumpkin! I'm going to win! Peppa isn't looking where she is going. <laughs> oh dear. Peppa has squashed Daddy Pig's pumpkin. Sorry I squashed your pumpkin, Daddy. Never mind the pumpkin. The important thing is that you are OK. In future, you really must look where you are going. I promise I will, Daddy. Good. <laughs> Peppa Pig! This is my little brother, George. <laughs> Hello, George. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I had a little brother like George. Really? Hello, I'm Danny Dog. <coughs> Is that a dinosaur? <coughs> it's just a toy dinosaur. Grrr, dinosaur. Brilliant. <coughs> dinosaur. Grrr. Ah! <laughs> dinosaur. Grrr. Ah, really scary. <laughs> That's brilliant. George is my brother. He's brilliant. Pepper is proud of her little brother, George. <laughs> Shall we show George how we paint pictures? George is not very good at painting. Well, maybe you could help him. Yes, I'm very good. I will show him how to paint a flower. George, today I'm going to teach you how to paint a flower. <coughs> First, you paint a big circle. No, 
George, that's the wrong colour. <coughs> now you paint the flower's petals. George, <coughs> that's the wrong shape. <coughs> now you paint the stalk and the leaves. George, you have done it all wrong. Now what do we have here? I've painted a flower. That's very good, Peppa. And George has painted a dinosaur. Grrr, dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa Pig. And there's another room with a real dinosaur. Wow, dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Mummy Pig. <coughs> Hello, Miss Rabbit. How many tickets, please? Two adults and two children. Dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> and a dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper wants to see the room full of things that belong to kings and queens from long ago. Wow. <coughs> dinosaur? But George wants to see the real dinosaur. <laughs> Don't worry, George. We will see the dinosaur next. <coughs> Peppa, these are all the things that the Queen had a long time ago. This is the Queen's special chair. It's called a throne. It's beautiful. This is the Queen's dress. It's so pretty. Look, Peppa. This is the Queen's golden crown. Wow! What lovely things! Mummy, where is the Queen's television? They didn't have television then. <gasps> no television? <coughs> but they did have computers. No, they didn't have computers either. <coughs> what did they do all day? <laughs> <laughs> Mummy, if I was the Queen, I would eat as much cake as I wanted. Pepper imagines being a queen. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> delicious. Is there anything else you would care for, Queen Pepper? Yes. More cake, please. Of course. <laughs> Come on, everyone. Coming, Daddy. <laughs> Pepper Pig. Why is the computer beeping? It's checking to see that you haven't been naughty and borrowed the book for too long. Um, I may have borrowed this book for a bit too long. Oh, don't worry, Daddy Pig. It can't be that bad. <coughs> Gosh! Daddy Pig, you've had this book out for ten years. Naughty, Daddy. Sorry, Miss Rabbit. That's all right. Now you can borrow another book. Miss Rabbit? Can George and I borrow a book, please? Yes. The children's section is over here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look. Berries, flowers, pretty dresses. <laughs> hello, Peppa. Oh, hello, Danny. I'm borrowing a book about football. <laughs> hello, Peppa. <laughs> hello, Susie. I've got a book about nurses. <laughs> George has chosen a book about dinosaurs. Dinosaur. <laughs> Look what I found. Further adventures in the world of concrete. Here's a red monkey book. Not the red monkey book. It's boring. But this is a different story. It might be more fun. I bet it's not. Once upon a time, there was a red monkey. <gasps> He had a bath, cleaned his teeth and went to bed. No. He jumped in a space rocket and went to the moon. Mm. He had a picnic with a dinosaur, Ooh. swam under the sea and climbed the highest mountain. That was a busy day. The end. Wow! Read it again. We can borrow it and read it at home, Pepper. But I was going to choose this book or... This one. You can take three books home if you want, Peppa. Yippee! But you must remember to bring them back on time. Yes, Miss Rabbit. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Ooh! 
This is Binky, the butcher. Hello, Binky. Well, can I stroke Binky? Yes, very gently. He feels fluffy. Those are his feathers. They help him to fly. <laughs> <laughs> Flying is how Binky gets his exercise. Can you tell me what else Binky needs to stay fit and healthy? He needs to eat. Yes. He needs to drink. That's right. He needs to breathe a bit. Very good. He needs to sleep. Excellent. <sighs> Sorry, Madam Gazelle. I overslept. Oh, Pedro, you do like sleeping. Yes, Madam Gazelle. I have got a pet here who loves sleeping. It's a tortoise. It's Tiddles the tortoise. Hello, Tiddles. Tiddles has slept all through the winter. Ooh. Why has he got that shell thing on his back? That shell is his house. It's where he hides if he gets scared. Would you like to stroke him? Yes, please. <coughs> Don't be scared, Tiddles. How old is he? Tiddles is 33. That's as old as my mum. But tortoises can live for a hundred years. <coughs> That's as old as my grandpa. Why is he so slow? He has to carry his house on his back. Uh, Dr Hamster, I think Tiddles is escaping. He can't go far. Because he is so slow. I've got someone else to show you here. Dinosaur. Oh, George, you always say dinosaur. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Who put that pipe there? I know. I'll take a shortcut. Mm, it's a bit muddy. Come on, car. Daddy Pig needs to get home. Daddy Pig is stuck. I'll ring for Grandad Dog's pickup truck. Hello! Break down recovery! I'm stuck in the mud. Can you come and rescue me, please? Sorry, Daddy Pig. I'm moving a big metal pipe that some maniac has left in the road. I'll pass you on to the next rescue service. Hello? Fire service? I'm stuck in the mud. Can you rescue me, please? Sorry, Daddy Pig. I'm rescuing a tortoise that stuck up a tree. Calm down, Tiddles. I don't know why you like climbing trees. You're a tortoise. Meh. Don't worry, Daddy Pig. I'll pass you on to the highest rescue service in the land. What's that noise? Whoa! I'm flying! Miss Rabbit's helicopter has rescued Daddy Pig. Hooray! Lucky Daddy gets a helicopter ride after all. <laughs> Shall we show him what my helicopter can do? Yes! yes! It can go straight up. Whoa! It can go straight down. Whoa! It can even move the loop. Whoa! Everyone likes going up and down and round and round in Miss Rabbit's helicopter. <laughs> What are you asking Father Christmas for? I don't know. What are you asking for? I would like a doll that walks and talks and closes its eyes when it goes to sleep. I'll ask for that too. How does Father Christmas remember what toys everybody wants? He makes a list. His sleigh must be very fast to go around the whole world in one night. It's a super sleigh! Father Christmas is really old. He's hundreds of years old. Even older than my daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Santa's Grotto! Ooh. Ho, ho, ho! Hello, everyone. Hello, Father Christmas. Have you all been good? Yes. Yeah. Have you all kept your bedrooms tidy? Yes! Have you? Oh, of course. 
Now, come and tell me what you'd like for Christmas. Can I have a football, please? A xylophone. Tiddlywinks. A magic set, please. Racing car. <laughs> Bouncy ball. Boing, boing. A twain, please. A toy train. Not a toy train. A real train. One I can drive with real passengers. Oh, ho, ho. I'll see what I can do. Is that everyone? We haven't seen you yet. I am sorry. What is your name? I'm Peppa Pig. We've met before. Ah, yes. Nice to see you again, Peppa. What would you like for Christmas? I would like a doll that walks and talks and closes its eyes when it goes to sleep. Please. Um, the same for me, please. Very good. You do know where I live, don't you? Oh, yes. <laughs> Peppa Pig. <laughs> I've got drums. They are called bongo drums, Danny. You bang them with your hands like this. <laughs> I've got a flat bongo drum. That is a boran. It is Irish. You beat it with a little stick like this. I've got a tambourine. Very good, Pedro. You can also shake it like this. Ooh. I've got a big drum. Ah, the bass drum. Meow. I don't know what this is called, but it's scrapey. That candy is called a Kiro, and it comes all the way from South America. Wow. How did it get here? I brought it back from my holiday. What are these? They are maracas. I brought them back from my holiday in Spain. This is a triangle. My dad sells these in boxes of ten. Thank you, Freddy. I will remember that. You don't need to go on holiday to get them. Thank you. <laughs> what are these? These are Castanets. My dad sells them in boxes of five. Thank you, Freddy. Olé! That is how you play the castanets. Here you are, Emily. Do I have to do the dance? <laughs> no, just make the clickety-clack noise. <laughs> ah, I see Rebecca has cymbals. Yes! Now you know what your instruments sound like. We can play them all together. Ready? Steady, go! Stop, stop, stop! That is not music. That is just noise. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Freddy Fox now has two bicycle bells. Brilliant. Thanks, Dad. Dad gave me two bells. Wow. wow! What else has your dad got in his van? He's got everything! Ooh! <laughs> what shall we play now? Let's have a bicycle race! With a big shiny cup for the winner! But where can we get a cup? Yes, where can we get a cup? I'll see what I can do. The best thing about having your own cement mixer is... Dad, have you got a big shiny winner's cup for our bicycle race, please? How important a race is it? It's very important. Will this do? Well, thanks, Dad. It's gold. Yes, it's plastic gold. Ooh. Ooh. One winner's cup. It's made of plastic gold. Wow. Your daddy's van really has got everything. Yep. Nay. Let's race to Peppa's house. Ready, steady, go. <laughs> <laughs> Press this button and it just disappears. Ooh. Oh. oh. And if you push this button, you can play CDs. <laughs> the friends have all finished together.
everyone's a winner. <laughs> but we've only got one cup. My van has a winner's cup for everyone. Hooray! Pepper <laughs> Pig. Now that's what I call a blackberry bush. This bush has been here since I was a little piggy. It's an overgrown weed. I should have cut it down years ago. Grandpa, why don't you like it? I don't like the way it looks at me. Silly Grandpa, it's just a harmless bush. And it's covered in lovely blackberries. George has seen some really big, juicy blackberries. <coughs> Careful, George, or you might get tangled. <laughs> I have a stick for picking hard to reach blackberries. <laughs> Grandpa. But the best blackberries are right at the very top. That's why I've brought the ladder. Um, don't lean too far over, Mummy Pig. Don't worry. I've been climbing this blackberry bush since I was a little girl. Yes, but you're not a little girl now. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, dear. Mummy Pig has fallen into the blackberry bush. Mummy, can you get out? Uh, no. I'm stuck. You're stuck in a thorny bush like Sleeping Beauty. What? Once upon a time, there was a princess called Sleeping Beauty. One day, she fell asleep in a thorny bush and she stayed there for a hundred years. Yes, that's a nice story, Peppa. It is Susie Sheep. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. Hello, Susie. My mummy is in a black berry bush and she'll be there for a hundred years like sleeping beauty <laughs> and she'll be rescued by a handsome prince who will give her a kiss <laughs> <laughs> my mummy is having an adventure i wish my mummy would have adventures like that um can someone think of a way to get me out of here don't worry mummy in a hundred years a handsome prince will rescue you <laughs> Peppa Pig. Let's make an aeroplane. <laughs> George likes aeroplanes. Can we make an aeroplane that flies? Yes. All we need is some paper. <laughs> we know where there's paper. <laughs> there is lots of old paper in the workroom. Here's some paper. Perfect. Mummy Pig is going to make a paper aeroplane. Fold the paper down the middle. <laughs> now fold the corners in at one end. Fold those corners in again to make a point. Then fold the sides back like this. Paper aeroplanes! <laughs> Let's see if they can fly. Ready, steady, go! Mummy Pig's aeroplane has flown into a tree. Peppa's aeroplane has landed in a flower pot. Your turn, George. Whee! George's aeroplane is doing a loop-the-loop -loop and has landed in the duck pond. <laughs> <laughs> Let's make a big aeroplane. We'll need a really big piece of paper. <laughs> Here's a big piece of blue paper. <laughs> Pepper and George have made a big blue aeroplane. <laughs> Daddy Pig! Hello, everyone. Shouldn't you be at work? Yes, but I've forgotten some important papers. Daddy, we're making aeroplanes. <laughs> we made a really big one. Wow! Fantastic! You need someone big and strong to throw it. Ready? Steady? Go! <laughs> The big blue aeroplane is flying very high and very far. It just keeps on going. Bye-bye, aeroplane. Oh, oh, bye-bye. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Grandpa, what's that stick thing in the water? Ah, submarine. Action stations. <laughs> Ahoy there. Hearties. It's Grampy Rabbit in his submarine. Lovely day to go sailing with just the sea and the sky, the stories I could tell. Uh, do you need any shopping? Oh, yes. Uh, 
Cheese, please. Cheese? Grandpa Pig's boat has arrived at the supermarket. Hello. It's very quiet today. You're my first customers. Maybe it's because of the flood. <laughs> Silly, isn't it? A little bit of rain and everyone stays at home. What can I get you? Polly has a list. Who's a clever parrot? Who's a clever parrot? Oh, dear. Polly has forgotten the list. Luckily, I remember what everyone wants. Cheese! Thank you, Pepper. You're a good one. Newspaper and comic. Thanks, Pepper. It was lucky Pepper was going to the shops, or we'd have nothing for dinner. Here's your chocolates. Now we can have our dinner, Mummy. Pepper and George have arrived back home. It is their bedtime. It is morning. Oh. The water has gone, but left a big muddy puddle. Muddy puddle! <laughs> this is the biggest muddy puddle in the world ever! <laughs> Peppa Pig! Daddy Pig is taking Pepper and George to see the house he is building. Here we are! There's nothing here. That's because the building work hasn't started yet. Digger! Digger! <laughs> here are Mr Bull and his friends. Mr Bull has come to build the new house. Aren't you building it, Daddy? I've done the hard bit. Mr Bull just has to follow my instructions. <laughs> Hello, Mr Pig. What's it to be? Car park? Swimming pool? Rocket station? A house. Can you build it exactly like this, please? But bigger. Mr Pig wants a house. Is it going to be built of straw? Or stakes? Or bricks, Mr Pig? Bricks, please. Good choice. Don't forget the swing. Don't worry, Pepper. We won't. <laughs> <laughs> George wants to help too. OK, George. Could you put a blob of mortar here? <laughs> <laughs> it looks like squelchy mud. Mortar is a very special kind of mud that sticks bricks together. <gasps> Peppa, would you like to lay the first brick? <gasps> yes, please. Well done. I'll do the rest. Bricks must be laid straight and level. See? Line after line. That will take ages. Yes. Will you finish it today? Oh, no. You can't build a house in a day. It'll be finished tomorrow. Good. See you tomorrow, Mr Bull. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Peppa and George have one penny and two buttons to spend. OK, let's go shopping. This is Mr Fox's shop. Hello there. Can I help you? It's Granny and Grandpa Pig's wedding anniversary. They're both very old and need a present. My shop has everything. Oh, I'm sure you'll find something you like. A big teddy. I love it. This can be the present. Pepper, the present is not for you. It's for Granny and Grandpa. Oh, yes. Oh, look. Funny teeth. They're wind-up joke teeth. Very popular. <laughs> <laughs> can they be the present for Granny and Grandpa? I think Granny and Grandpa have all the teeth they need, Pepper. Do your Granny and Grandpa like gardening and digging? Yes. Then why not get them a bucket and spade each? Buy one, get one free. They've already got spades and buckets and forks and everything. Oh, dear. I know. Grandpa likes sailing his boat. Say no more. I have everything a sailor could ever wish for. Do you have pirate's treasure? Uh, everything except pirate's treasure. Oh. 
Do Granny and Grandpa like antiques? What does antique mean? Antique means old and rare. Usually, yes. But my antiques are brand new. That chair comes in a set of 12. Nice, isn't it? Is it made of oak? Yes, it's made of plastic oak. Is it comfortable? You mustn't sit on it. Antique chairs are not for sitting on. So, what do you do with them? You look at them. That's not much fun, even for a grown-up. Buying a present for Granny and Grandpa is hard work. <laughs> Peppa Pig. If I take this rubber duck and hide it where you can see it, do you think you could find it? Daddy, if we can see it, you haven't hidden it. Watch this. I will put the duck here. Now, you tell me where it is. There. Exactly. It's too easy, Daddy. It won't always be so easy, Peppa. Who wants to go first? Because it's an easy game, George can go first. OK, you all wait here. Daddy Pig is putting the rubber duck somewhere for George to find. The duck is somewhere in your bedroom. George is looking for the rubber duck. <laughs> but it is quite difficult to find. Oh. George, you can see it. Just look with your eyes. George is using his eyes to look for the rubber duck. You're getting warmer. Colder. Warm again. George has found the rubber duck. Hooray! I saw it straight away. This game is too easy. OK, Peppa's turn. I will do the hiding this time. Mummy Pig is going to put the rubber duck somewhere for Peppa to find. I will see it straight away. Ready! The rubber duck is somewhere in the kitchen. I've come to find you, rubber ducky. I know where you are. You're in the sink. Oh! The rubber duck is not in the sink. I know. You're hiding under the table. The rubber duck is not under the table. Give me a clue, please. It's sitting with something else that's yellow. Something yellow that lives in the kitchen. Bananas! There you are! <laughs> Peppa Pig! Here are Peppa, George, Danny Dog, Susie Sheep and Wendy Wolf. Hello, Hello Pedro. Pedro! Howdy, everyone! Welcome to my cowboy camp! Yeehaw! It's a tent! It's a cowboy camp! Where cowboys sleep at night time! Are you going to sleep here in the night? <sniffs> um, no. That might be a bit scary. But we can pretend it's night time. But it's not night time. Just pretend the sun is the moon. OK. okay. Pedro, can we be cowboys too? Yes, you can be my partners. <laughs> <laughs> is my little cowboy hungry? I sure am, Ma. That's how cowboys speak. Would you cowboys and cowgirls like something to eat too? Yes, please, Ma. Do the cowboys always camp next to their mummy's kitchen? No, you have to pretend the house is not here. This is the Wild West. What's that? The Wild West is the land where cowboys live. What do cowboys do? They tell stories, sing songs and eat beans. Beans on toast for everyone. Hooray! Cowboys love beans on toast. Everybody loves beans on toast. Who wants a cowboy song? Do you know a real cowboy song? Yes, I made it up and it goes like this. I'm a brave cowboy and I'm eating my beans with a bing and a bong and a boo. Baked beans bang, baked beans boo, baked beans bingly bongly bang. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Up, up and away. 
I didn't know you had an aeroplane, Dr. Hamster. Oh, yes. I'm the flying vet. Thank goodness. The vet's here. Stand aside. Vet coming through. Where is the sick lizard? Here it is. Oh, poor little pickle. What is wrong with the lizard? It seems to be upside down. I just flip it over. There. Dr Hamster has made the lizard better. Hooray! Oh, another emergency. Hello? Hello. A uh, Grandpa Pig here. Grandpa Pig is out sailing his boat. It's Polly. She's a sick parrot. Ah, uh, sick parrot. I'll be right there. Look, Polly, it's the flying vet. Where are we going to land? This is a seaplane, Pepper. We can land on the water. Wow! Hello, <laughs> Pepper, George. Hello, Grandpa. We've come to make Polly better. How long has Polly been sick? Since we came out on our boat trip. Aha! Uh -huh. I know what's wrong with Polly. She's seasick. Oh! Get Polly to dry land. The sooner the better. There's an island. There we go. Better Polly? Ah, uh, better Polly. Hooray! Polly is not a sick parrot anymore. <laughs> Over the boulders, everyone! <laughs> Across the bridge! <laughs> Through the cave! <laughs> oh, the footprints have stopped. Look! There are some green steps. It's a big slide! Whee! Yes, it's my whopping ginormous dinosaur slide! <laughs> that is some dinosaur. He's a brontosaurus! Actually, the correct name is a patasaurus. You're a bit of a clever clogs, aren't you? Yes. Right, my little explorers. Are you ready for the next bit of the adventure? Yes, Granny Rabbit! We have to find an egg. An egg? But eggs are little. It could be anywhere. Leave it to me. Foxes love hunting for eggs. Freddy Fox has a very good sense of smell. Wow! What an egg! It's huge! Why is the egg so big? It's a dinosaur egg! Is it real? No, it's better than real. It's pretend! Watch this! <laughs> the dinosaur egg has a birthday cake inside it! <laughs> Peppa Pig! Uh, do you sell fishing rods? We do, actually. I don't know why. You don't get fish in the mountains. We're not fishing for fish. We're fishing for keys. My daddy dropped the car keys down the drain. Oh, you'll never get those back. That drain's really deep. What are drains for? A drain takes the rainwater away to the sea. <coughs> the fishing line is not long enough to reach the keys. My goodness. How deep is this drain? We can see how deep it is by dropping a stone. Good idea, Miss Rabbit. We can count how long the stone takes to reach the bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six. That is deep. Told you. What can we do now? It is Mr Paul and his friends. Bigger! Train! 
George loves diggers and cranes. Hello, everybody. Hello, Hello Mr. Mr. Bull. Bull. Welcome to the Mountain Beauty Spot. Have you come to do some work? No. It's our day off, so we came to enjoy the beauty spot. You can see for miles, boss. Yes, it's very pretty. Uh, Mr Bull, could we borrow your crane for a minute? What for? My daddy dropped the car keys down the drain. Say no more. I'll have them out in no time. Mr Rhino, the crane, please. Stand clear. Down she goes. How lucky Mr Bull came along when he did. Yes, now we'll finally get our keys back. That's as far as she goes, Chief. Mr Bull is the Chief. Did you find our keys? No. <gasps> the crane isn't long enough. Now what shall we do? Easy. We'll dig up the road! <laughs> Peppa Pig. I love Gertrude the train. And the good thing is, Gertrude has rubber wheels, so we don't have to go on train tracks. We can go wherever we like. <laughs> Grandpa's little train goes choo choo choo, choo choo choo, choo choo choo. Grandpa's little train goes choo choo choo, all day long. <laughs> 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 Miss Rabbit is taking the grown ups to work in her big train. Morning, Grandpa Pig. Out on your toy train again. Gertrude is not a toy. She is a miniature locomotive. Oh, that's nice. Bye! Go faster, Grandpa Pig. I can't. This is as fast as Gertrude goes. The big train is going very fast. Oh, dear. The big train has broken down. What's happening? We need to get to work. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Having trouble with your train? <laughs> it's not funny, Grandpa Pig. All of my passengers need to get to work. You need to get yourself a train that doesn't break down, like Gertrude. <laughs> That's a good idea. Out you get. What? I'm borrowing your train. I'll change. But what am I going to do? You can stay here and mend the big train. Righto. I do like mending things. Oh, what fun! Riding a toy train. Gertrude is not a toy. She is a miniature locomotive. Of course. All aboard the toy train. <laughs> Can't it go any faster? No. Gertrude is a slow train. <laughs> Peppa Pig. It sends him to sleep. <laughs> we like noise in this house. We're a noisy family. Peppa, George, you're staying in my room tonight. Oh, goody. <laughs> Peppa and George are excited to be sleeping in Cousin Chloe's bedroom. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Night, night. Everyone is tucked up in their beds, asleep. Baby Alexander is awake. Peppa and George are awake. What's that noise? It's the vacuum cleaner. Um, why are you vacuuming at night? We're not disturbing you, are we? What? Oh, no. <coughs> we found noise is the best way to get baby Alexander back to sleep. <coughs> he likes noise. We're a noisy family. Everyone is back in their beds, asleep. <coughs> Baby Alexander is awake. <coughs> Why is Auntie Pig playing a trumpet? To get Alexander to sleep. The more noise, the better. Is there another way? We do find noise is the best way. When George was a baby, we used to put him in his pram and wheel him around the house. And that always sent him to sleep. How strange. No loud noises. That's right. 
How many times round the house was it, Mummy Pig? Three times? Fifty times. <sighs> Daddy Pig is pushing Baby Alexander around the house. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Ooh, I've got a chocolate bar. Good. We should save the chocolate in case we get hungry later. Oh, dear. Grampy Rabbit has eaten all the food. What a terrible place to be stuck. Is anyone else missing cheese? We've only been here five minutes, Grampy Rabbit. I'm going to put a mark in the sand for every time I think about cheese. We need to call for help. Call for help? What an excellent idea! Grampy Rabbit is very good at shouting. What was that? That was the call of the sea. Someone is in trouble. What can we do? We'll rescue them. We can use Grandad Dog's boat. Wait a minute. I said I'd never get on a boat again. But, Daddy, they need rescuing. You're right. Just this once. I shall sail again. Life jackets on. Oh, oh Captain, Captain Dog. Dog. Full sail! All our food is gone. There's nothing left to eat. There must be something to eat. Ahoy there! Hooray! We're saved! Captain Dog has rescued the Grandads. Land ahoy! Everyone off the boat. Farewell, everybody. See you in a few weeks. Daddy, where are you going? Me? I was just thinking of sailing around the world again. But, Daddy, you're not a sailor anymore. No, of course not. Leave the sailing to us, Captain Dog. Yes, and when they get lost again, you can rescue them. <laughs> 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 Peppa Pig. Hello, Susie. Can I be a mountain leopard, please? No, I can only do fruit. OK, can I be... A plum! There. Peppa is in charge of the lucky dip. Roll up, roll up for your lucky dip. Moo! Hello, Peppa. Hello, Mr Bull. You've got a green face. I'm an apple. Ooh. Would you like to try the lucky dip? OK. What do I do? Just pull a prize out of the barrel. Everyone a winner. Mr Bull has won a dolly. Can I have a go? Mrs Cat has won a digger. Oh. Do you want to swap? No, no thank, thank you. you. Mr Bull and Mrs Cat like their Lucky Dip prizes. <laughs> <laughs> roll up, roll up. Freddy Fox is in charge of the Mummies and Daddies race. Thank you. It's all to raise money for a new school roof. I'm quite good at running. <laughs> it's not running, Daddy. It's a sack race. Oh. You have to get in the bag and jump. Over there. As fast as you can. Right. On your marks, get set, go! Oh. And they've fallen down. Oh. And they're back up again. Hooray! Come on, Daddy! Come on, Daddy! Keep going, Daddy! Come on, Daddy! And my mummy is the winner. Hooray! <laughs> that was fun, wasn't it? Yes, yes. lots, lots of, fun. of fun. But really, we must thank the children for all their hard work. Thank, thank you, children. children. And we have raised enough money to buy a new school roof. Again. Hooray! <laughs> Peppa Pig. Fighting car number two is a must. Ah, that's better. The race was almost finished. Switch it back on. Wow, that was an exciting end to a race. I'm so glad I didn't miss the finish. See, it's finished. It's such a lovely day. You should all go outside and play. Yes, Granny Pig. 
So, what are we going to play? George wants to play racing cars. I know. Let's build George a racing car. <laughs> Can you really make a racing car, Daddy? No, but Grandpa Pig can. What? Uh, OK, I'll make a racing car for George. <laughs> this is Grandpa Pig's shed, where he makes things. What have we got here? Ah, an old pram. No, George isn't a baby, Grandpa. We only need the pram's wheels, Peppa. This bit can be the bonnet. And this can be the seats. What's your favourite number, George? George's favourite number is two. Oh, this racing car will be super fast. Hooray! Don't make it go too fast, Grandpa. George is only little. Don't worry, Peppa. This will be a pedal car, not a motor car. Ah! Next, we need a steering wheel. Last of all, you need racing goggles and a hat. <laughs> it's George's racing car! <laughs> Here are Danny Dog, Zoe Zebra and Pedro Pony. Hello, everyone. Look at George's racing car. Wow! <laughs> I was a little bit lonely up there, with just the moon and the stars. And the most exciting bit was... What's the most exciting bit, Grumpy Rabbit? I can't hear you. Why has he stopped talking? Oh dear, Grumpy Rabbit has lost his voice. I had better ring Dr Brown Bear. Dr. Brown Bear speaking. Hello, Dr. Brown Bear. Grumpy Rabbit has lost his voice. Is that such a bad thing? Yes. He's giving an important talk about space rockets to the children. Oh, in that case, I'll be straight there. <laughs> Hello, Grumpy Rabbit. I hear you've lost your voice. Say, ah, oh, please. <coughs> I see, yes, a very serious case of losing a voice. Too much shouting, I imagine. Let's see if a little bit of medicine helps. Open wide. Try saying, ah, oh, now. <coughs> Louder. <coughs> That's better. <laughs> Not back to normal. Back getting there. <coughs> No, where was I? You were just about to tell us the most exciting bit. Oh, yes! The most exciting bit was I wrote a song. Uh, would you like to hear it? No, no thank, thank you. you. Yes, please! I got up this morning and all I could see was the moon and the stars. The moon, the stars, the moon, the stars, the moon, the stars, the moon, the stars. <laughs> I got up this morning and all I could see was the moon and the stars. The moon, the stars, the moon, the stars, the moon, the stars, the moon, the stars. <laughs> in the olden days, did Susie and me jump up and down in muddy puddles? No, Peppa. You were babies. You couldn't even walk. Oh, what did we do? <laughs> you cried. <laughs> you burped. <laughs> and you laughed. <laughs> we were babies. Baby Susie. Baby Papa. <laughs> <laughs> goo goo gaga, goo goo gaga. <laughs> Soon after that, you were toddlers. <laughs> and 
Where was George? He was a baby in my tummy. <coughs> yes, you were in my tummy, George. You've got a big tummy, Daddy. Is there a baby in there? Oh, oh no, Pepper. This tummy is pure muscle. <laughs> <laughs> and so George was born. <laughs> and Granny and Grandpa gave George a very special present. Can you guess what it was? Mr Dinosaur! That's right. <laughs> And you and Susie were running and jumping around. <laughs> then one day you saw something amazing. Monkey Puggle! <laughs> Peppa, if you jump in muddy puddles, you must wear your boots. <laughs> you loved jumping up and down in muddy puddles. I still do! <laughs> Let's take a photo now. Peppa loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Peppa Pig. <laughs> Everyone is walking sideways like a crab. Madam Gazelle, can we see you ski now? Oh, I don't know. Please. Very well. La. That was amazing. Yes, I was the world champion at skiing and won this cup. Ooh. Now, which mummy or daddy would like a go? Why not? Are you sure, Mummy Pig? You haven't skied for years. It's just like riding a bike, Daddy Pig. You never forget. Here is the baby slope, Mummy Pig. I think I'm a bit grown up for the baby slope. Which way does this go? Ah! All the way down the mountain. My mummy is skiing down the mountain. Ah! Where are the brakes? Oh, she can't stop. We have to catch up with her. Ah! Stand back! Mummy Pig is skiing along the road. Ah! Everyone is in the coach, chasing after Mummy Pig. Wow! My mummy is skiing super fast! Whoa! 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 Mummy did a loop the loop! That was fantastic skiing! Mummy Pig is skiing past the shops. Yeah! Ah! How am I going to stop? My goodness, a walking, talking snowman. No, it's just my mummy. <laughs> I have never seen such amazing skiing. This cup belongs to you. Thank you. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Don't stay out too late, Grandpa Pig. Okay, okay Granny, Granny Pig. <laughs> we'll put all the slugs and snails in the bucket. Ah, one little snail. Two little snails. <laughs> and a slug. Ugh. Slugs are yucky. <laughs> Here are Grandpa Pig's chickens. Sarah, Jemima, Vanessa and Neville. Hello, chickens. I need to put the chickens to bed. Night, night, chickens. Night, night, chickens. Night, night. Why aren't the slugs and snails in bed, Grandpa? Because they're up all night eating my vegetables. Some animals eat in the daytime, like my chickens, and some animals eat at night, like, oh, Mr Fox. Hello, Grandpa Pig. Putting your chickens to bed, are you? Oh, yes. Nice and cosy in the hen house. Jolly good. Well, I'll be on my way. Good night. Good, Good night. night. Now, as I was saying, some animals eat at night, like... <laughs> oh, hello. Grandpa, there's a little animal in your bucket. Ha-ha, <laughs> yes. It's a hedgehog. They like to eat slugs and snails. Hello, hedgehog. 
Oh, he's rolled into a ball. Yes, Peppa. He is very shy. Come out, Mr. Hedgehog. Don't be scared. I like hedgehogs. They are very good at keeping slugs and snails off my lovely lettuce. <laughs> bye bye, hedgehog. Bye bye. Are there any more night animals, Grandpa? Yes, there are moths. Ooh, they look like butterflies. Butterflies that come out at night. <laughs> Peppa Pig. It smells like your garden. That's because perfume is made of flowers. Hmm, Granny, I've got a very good idea. Really? Yes. First, I need some water. Here's your water. Right. Now I'm going to put flowers in it and make perfume. That's nice, dear. But only pick flowers from the grass, not from the flower bed. OK? OK. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, flowers. Who wants to be in my perfume? I'm going to put you in my beaker of water. <laughs> Hello, butterfly. I'm making perfume. It's going to be the prettiest, smelliest perfume ever. <sighs> Lovely! Here is George. Stand back, George. I'm making perfume. Do you want to watch? <coughs> First, I pick a smelly flower. <sighs> Very flowery. Then I put it in my beaker. No, George. You can't put grass in my perfume. It needs the smell of flowers. Smell! <laughs> Yuck! George does not like smelly flowers. Grandpa Pig is in his herb garden. Grandpa! Grandpa! Smell this! <sighs> Pooey! It smells like pond water. It's my special perfume. I made it with flowers from the garden. Oh, yes. It's the most beautiful perfume in the world. Yes. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Daddy Pig, this study is a complete mess. It's not that bad. There are lots of cobwebs. I love cobwebs. They give the room character. Cobwebs mean spiders, and I don't like spiders. I do. Spiders catch flies, and flies are horrid. Well, as long as I don't have to see a spider. <coughs> ah! A spider! Hello, Mr Skinny Legs. <laughs> oh, where have you gone? Find it. I don't want it in the house. Everyone is looking for Mr Skinny Legs. Mr Skinny Legs is not in the filing cabinet. Oh. Mr. Skinny Legs is not under the chair. Oh. Mr. Skinny Legs is not on the table. Oh. I wonder where Mr. Skinny Legs is. Ah! Oh, ho, oh. ho. It sounds like Mummy has found him. Don't be scared, Mummy. Get rid of it. OK. We'll take Mr. Skinny Legs into the garden. <laughs> now Mr Skinny Legs has got the whole garden to play in. Bye-bye, Mr Skinny Legs. It is starting to rain. <laughs> Mr Skinny Legs is running back to the house. Maybe he doesn't like the rain. He's climbing up the water spout. Incy wincy spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and was for Incy out. Out came the sunshine and dried up all the rain. Incy wincy spider climbed up the spout again. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want Mr. Skinny Legs in the house, Daddy Pig. Let's take Mr. Skinny Legs a bit further into the garden. <laughs> Peppa Pig. What are they doing? Help! Help! <laughs> Peppa! George! What's going on? 
What's all this noise? Whoa! Help! Oh! oh. <coughs> what on earth is going on? What a lot of noise! And look at all this mess on the floor. Someone could trip over and hurt themselves. Someone did trip over and hurt themselves. Oh dear, poor Daddy Pig. <coughs> Come on, children, let's do a bit of tidying up. But Mummy, we're playing dollies and dinosaurs. You can play again when you've tidied up. But it's all George's mess. Is it really? So this must be one of George's lovely dresses. <gasps> no. <laughs> Or maybe some of the mess is mine. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'll help George tidy, and Mummy Pig can help Peppa. We can have a race. Girls against boys. Good idea. Let's see who can tidy up first. Ready, steady, go! <laughs> We're winning. No, you're not. <laughs> there. Oh, what's this? Teddy, I've been looking for you. Quick, Pepper, put Teddy in your toy basket. <laughs> there. Now these books. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> what do we have here? Dinosaur. That's right. It's a dinosaur book. It's George's pop-up dinosaur book. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa Pig. <laughs> Yuck. Oh, what a fuss about nothing. Yes, we all need sun cream today. Oh. <laughs> 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 Come on, George. <laughs> Let's get some air into this paddling pool. Daddy Pig is pumping up the paddling pool. <laughs> <sighs> Easy as pie. <laughs> Pepper holds the hose. And Mummy Pig turns on the water. Where's the water? <laughs> Peppa and George love their paddling pool. Ice cream! Ice cream! Miss Rabbit, the ice cream lady! <laughs> ice cream! On very hot days, Miss Rabbit sells ice cream. Mummy, Daddy! Can George and I have an ice cream, please? Oh, well, I suppose it is an especially hot day. Yay! <laughs> please, can I have one as well? Everyone likes ice cream. <laughs> Hello, Mummy Pig, Pepper and George. Hello, Miss Rabbit. <laughs> what ice creams would you like? Can I have a cone, please, Miss Rabbit? Of course you may, Pepper. Thank you. <laughs> the same for me and one for Daddy Pig, please. And what would young Mr George like? Dinosaur. A dinosaur? Silly George. He always says dinosaur for everything. Well, it just so happens that I do have a dinosaur-shaped ice lolly. <laughs> dinosaur. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Granny Pig has made pizza for lunch. And here's some salad made with Grandpa's tomatoes, lettuce and cucumber. Chuck in, everyone. <laughs> George has eaten his pizza, but George does not like the tomatoes, or the lettuce, or the cucumber. Oh, dear, George. Don't you like the salad? No. George, just try a little bit of this lovely tomato. Yuck. George, this is cucumber. Grandpa Pig grew it in his garden. Try a piece of lettuce, George. It's yummy. <coughs> oh, now, now, George. <coughs> Look what I'm doing. Now it's a dinosaur. 
a dinosaur. <laughs> George loves dinosaurs. George is eating the tomatoes, lettuce and cucumber. Well done, George. Would you like some more, George? Full. George, are you too full to eat any more tomatoes, lettuce or cucumber? George is too full to eat any more. George, are you too full to eat anything more? George is too full to eat anything more. Oh, well. Then you won't want any of this chocolate cake. Chocolate cake! <laughs> My word! George seems to have got his appetite back. <laughs> 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 Pancake is for Mummy Pig. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> you still aren't flipping them high enough, Mummy Pig. The next pancake is yours, Daddy Pig. So now you can show us how it should be done. Mm, delicious. Mm. <laughs> is everyone watching? The secret of making a good pancake is to flip it high into the air. <laughs> a one, two, three, whoopla! <gasps> Silly Daddy. Oh, maybe that was just a bit too high. Oh, what a shame. That was the last pancake. It should be a simple matter to get it down. <sighs> Oh, dear. Daddy Pig cannot reach his pancake. Don't worry, Daddy Pig. I think I know a way to get it down. Let's go upstairs, children. <laughs> this way. <laughs> what is Mummy Pig planning to do? On the count of three, we all have to start jumping up and down. One, two, three, jump! <laughs> What are they doing? <laughs> it worked! Now Daddy Pig has his pancake. Daddy has a pancake on his head. <laughs> <laughs> Syrup on your pancake, Daddy Pig? Yes, please. <laughs> One, two, three... Hoopla! Mm. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> Silly Daddy. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Grandpa Pig is burying the treasure in a secret place in the garden. Grandpa Pig, have you finished? Peppa and George will be here soon. <laughs> No need to panic, Granny Pig. Pepper and her family are here. Quick, Grandpa Pig. They're here. Oh, almost done. <laughs> oh. Grandpa Pig oh. just finished in time. Granny Pig, we're here. Granny Pig. Hello, my little ones. Grandpa Pig. Papa Pig. Ahoy there, me hearties. Pepper, George, we've made you a treasure hunt. Somewhere in the garden is buried treasure. Wow, treasure. Where is it? Oh, you have to look for it. Here's a treasure map for Pepper. And George could wear my pirate hat. Ahoy there, Captain George. <laughs> the map is a bit difficult. Daddy, can you help? Of course, Peppa. I'm very good with maps. Uh, it is a bit difficult. <laughs> Daddy Pig, you're holding the map upside down. Yes, I thought as much. It's easy. The Red Cross shows where the treasure is. But where in the garden are those two apple trees? Hmm, I don't know. Would you like a clue? Yes, please. The first clue is in a bottle. But where is the bottle? I can see it! <laughs> <laughs> 
Pepper has found the first clue. A message in a bottle. Look, everyone! Here's the bottle! Well done, Pepper. <laughs> Peppa Pig! Can George and I get our faces painted first? Of course. <laughs> Miss Rabbit has painted Peppa's friends as tigers. There you are, Susie. Now you look like a tiger. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I like your face, Susie. Are you a pussycat? No, I'm a tiger. <laughs> Peppa, would you like your face painted? Yes, please. Can I be an elephant? Oh, dear. I don't know how to do elephants. I can do tigers. <laughs> <laughs> yes, a tiger, please. There you are, Peppa. Now you're a tiger. <laughs> I'm a tiger. George, what would you like to be? Dinosaur. Grr. A dinosaur? Uh, how about a tiger instead? I'm good at tigers. <laughs> I'm a tiger. <laughs> so am I. Meow. <laughs> tigers don't say woof woof. How do you know? Because tigers are big cats. Meow. <laughs> and I'm a cat. Candy, please can you teach us how to be tigers? OK. Tigers creep very, very slowly and then... They jump. <laughs> <laughs> Tigers like to lick themselves clean. But best of all, when tigers are happy, they purr. Hello, children. My goodness, you're all tigers. And I'm teaching them to be proper tigers. <laughs> <laughs> what do you little tigers want to do next? Dinosaur! That's right. We have to find George a dinosaur balloon. <laughs> Let's get you all balloons. Hooray! <laughs> Peppa Pig! Grandpa, why do butterflies like flowers? They get their food from flowers. How? Oh. They have very long tongues. Longer than mine? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. The butterfly's tongue is even longer than yours. She uses it to drink from the flower. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, oh Pepper, the butterfly thinks you're a flower. <laughs> I'm not a flower. I'm Peppa Pig. <laughs> <laughs> she is so pretty. I want to be a butterfly. <laughs> Pepper is playing at being a butterfly. I'm a little butterfly. <laughs> George wants to play too. <laughs> George, I'm the butterfly. You have to be something else. I know. You can be a wriggly worm. <laughs> <laughs> look, look, I'm a butterfly. Oh, dear. George does not want to be a worm. He wants to be a butterfly. George, when I was a little piggy, I used to like playing at being a worm. It's very easy to be a worm. I'll show you how. First, you have to lie down on the ground. Then... You wriggle around. Ha <laughs> I'm a wriggly worm. <laughs> George and Grandpa Pig are having such fun being wriggly worms. Peppa Pig. Mummy Pig has made a special box for Pepper. Pepper, this box is just for you. Thank you, Mummy. It's a secret box for you to keep secret things in. What things can I put in it, Mummy? <laughs> Only you can decide that, Pepper. It's your secret box. I know what I can put in it. Good, but don't tell me. I won't tell you or George or Daddy. It's a secret. George, this is my secret box. It's empty. I have to find some things to put inside. <laughs> George wants to help Pepper. 
No, George. Only I must know what's in the box. You have to wait outside while I choose. <laughs> Pepper is going to choose some secret things to put in the box. <laughs> now my secret box is full. George, you must not look inside. George would like to know what is inside Pepper's secret box. If you like, you can try to guess. <coughs> dinosaur! George thinks Pepper has put a dinosaur in the box. Oh, George, you always say dinosaur for everything. <coughs> anyway, a dinosaur is too big to fit in the box. George cannot guess what is in Pepper's secret box. Daddy Pig is cleaning a picture. Daddy, this is my secret box. Mummy made it for me. It's very nice, Pepper. What's inside? It's a secret. George tried to guess, but he didn't get it right. Can I have a try? Yes. Hmm. Have you put my glasses inside? No. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Sometimes Daddy Pig loses his glasses. Peppa, George, have you seen Daddy Pig's glasses? He can't find them anywhere. No, Mummy. Peppa and George do not know where Daddy Pig's glasses are. Oh, dear. Daddy Pig cannot see a thing without them, and it makes him very grumpy. Without his glasses on, Daddy Pig cannot read his newspaper. This is ridiculous. I can't see anything. Somebody must have put my glasses somewhere. Do you remember where you last put them, Daddy Pig? When I don't wear them, I always put them in my pocket. But they aren't there now. Daddy, can we help find your glasses? Good idea, Pepper. If you find them, Daddy will stop being so grumpy. I'm not grumpy. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and George are looking for Daddy's glasses. Pepper looks under the newspaper, but Daddy Pig's glasses are not there. Oh. George looks on top of the television, but Daddy Pig's glasses are not there. Oh. Let's look upstairs in Mummy and Daddy's bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and George are looking in Mummy and Daddy Pig's bedroom. George, be careful not to knock anything over. Ah! <laughs> it's not funny. Pepper looks under the pillows, but Daddy Pig's glasses are not there. Oh. George looks in Daddy's slippers. But the glasses are not there either. <coughs> Peppa Pig. Peppa has to find where George is hiding. Found you. Peppa has found George. George, I could see you too easily. Now it is Peppa's turn to hide. One, um, three. I'll help George to count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. OK, George, open your eyes. George has to find where Peppa is hiding. Pepper isn't hiding under the table. George, have you thought of looking upstairs? <laughs> Pepper isn't under the bed. What was that strange noise? Pepper isn't behind the curtain. There is that strange noise again. 
What can it be? <laughs> George has found where Pepper was hiding. George found me. Now it's Daddy's turn to hide. Oh, I think George should have another turn. <laughs> Peppa Pig! Peppa and George love making sandcastles. <laughs> no, no, George. Don't be upset. <laughs> there are lots of exciting things to do on this rocky beach. Like what? When the sea goes out, it leaves little pools of water in amongst the rocks. They're called rock pools. And in every rock pool, there's something special that the sea has left behind. Ooh, I can see something glittering. It's a coin. Wow. Maybe it's a pirate's treasure. Ooh. Let's make a collection of all the things we find. Yes, we'll put them in George's bucket. <laughs> <laughs> What surprise is waiting in this pool? There's nothing special in this one. Ho, 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 ho! There's always something, Peppa. Look closer. Ooh, there is something. Yes, it's a crab. Ah! The crab is pinching Grandpa Pig's finger. Oh! Ouch! Naughty Mr. Crab. <laughs> Look, George. Mr. Crab is walking sideways. <laughs> George is pretending to be a crab. <laughs> Pepper wants to be a crab, too. We're naughty crabs. Pinch, pinch, pinch. <laughs> pinch, pinch, pinch. Help! There are two naughty crabs trying to pinch me. Pinch, pinch, pinch. We're naughty crabs. Pinch, pinch, pinch. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Shoo, 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 you naughty crabs. Go back to your little rock pools. Yes. Let's look in more rock pools. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Oh! Richard has a toy watering can. Stop it, Richard! <laughs> oh! Oh dear! Richard has dropped his watering can into the pool. Not me! Sorry, Richard. I can't reach. It's too far down. Mummy! I can't swim underwater. Even I can't swim underwater. Hmm. Please hold my glasses, Mummy Pig. <sighs> Hooray! <laughs> there you go. Well done, Daddy Pig. I am rather good at swimming underwater. <laughs> 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 the watering can is for babies. Can we jump off the diving boards now? Sorry, Pepper. Diving boards are only for grown-ups. Oh. oh. Cheer up, you two. You can watch me dive. Silly Daddy, your tummy is too big. <laughs> Nonsense. I won trophies for my diving when I was younger. That was quite a long time ago, Daddy Pig. It's lucky I've kept myself so fit and strong. Please hold my glasses, Mummy Pig. You'll get a better view if you watch me from the side. Please don't splash us with water, Daddy. Of course I won't splash you, Pepper. I think I need a higher board. Please be careful, Daddy Pig. Yes, don't splash us, Daddy. <laughs> don't worry, Pepper. I told you I wouldn't splash. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Ooh. Dinosaur. <laughs> I knew it would be some sort of dinosaur thingy. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. Squeeze its tummy. <laughs> Too scary. <laughs> <laughs> George, I've made you a birthday card. 
Can you guess what the picture is? George cannot guess. I was going to paint you a flower. Oh. George does not like flowers. But in the end, I painted you a... Dinosaur! That's a lovely picture, Pepper. Yes, I'm very good at painting. <laughs> now, we're going somewhere very special for George's birthday treat. Yippee! Let's go! Where are we going? You'll see. <laughs> the family are setting off for George's birthday treat. Are we going to the circus? No, but it's somewhere just as good. Um, is it the cinema? No, much better. I just can't guess. Where can they be going? We're here. The family have arrived at the museum. Why are we at the museum? Come on, you'll see. What can George's birthday treat be? George? What do you like best in the whole world? Dinosaur. <laughs> Ooh, dinosaur. George's birthday treat is a visit to the museum dinosaur room. Huh, silly old dinosaurs again. <laughs> dinosaur. <gasps> Be frightened, George. It's not a real dinosaur. It's just a robot. Look, I stand on this spot and. <laughs> Peppa Pig! <Ooh>. <laughs> this is impossible. I don't want to do ice skating anymore. Don't worry, Peppa. Everyone falls over when they ice skate. Even I fall over. Watch this. Oopsie daisy. Ho ho. Silly daddy. <laughs> <laughs> George, would you like to skate? No. George has never ice skated before and he is a bit worried. I'll look after George while you teach Peppa how to skate. Skating is easy, Peppa. Just push with your feet and glide. Push, push. Glide. See? Push, push, glide. Push, push, glide. <laughs> this is easy. I can do it on my own now, Mummy. <laughs> push, push, glide. Push, push, glide. Well done, Pepper. <laughs> Look at me. I'm skating. Pepper is doing really well. Yes, I'm a very good teacher. <laughs> Slow down, Pepper. You'll bump into someone. Don't worry, Mummy. I'm very good at skating. Oh, where are the brakes? Oh, dear. I forgot to teach Pepper how to stop. Oh. Ah! I can't stop. Look out! <laughs> 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 Mummy Pig taught you how to skate. But I taught you how to fall over. Yes, I'm very good at falling over. <laughs> George, do you want to skate too? No. Come on, George. It's fun. I'll teach you. Hit him. First, you need to... Whee! George, come back. I'm teaching you how to ice skate. <laughs> Peppa Pig. There aren't any instructions. Maybe it's so easy to build, it doesn't need instructions. Mummy, can we help? Yes. First, I need a shelf. <laughs> Here's a green shelf. Thank you, Pepper. Now I need four legs. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Four blue legs, Mummy. Lovely. We'll have this done in no time. Here's a red door, Mummy Pig. Thank you, Daddy Pig. There. Finished. Well done, Mummy Pig. It's very tiny. How will all our toys fit inside? It is a little small. <coughs> oh, George has found another bit. Uh, maybe that's a spare shelf. And 
there's all of these bits too. Oh dear, the cupboard is tiny because Mummy Pig has not used all the pieces. We'll just have to take it apart and start again. Oh no. If only we had the instructions. Who can that be? Hello, I've just found this in my van. It's the missing instructions. That will make things a lot easier. Hooray! <laughs> the instructions look very complicated. It's no good. It's nonsense. Leave it to me, Daddy Pig. I quite enjoy putting these things together. Really? Can we help in any way? You can put the kettle on. I'll have a nice cup of tea. With six sugars, please. Everyone is preparing tea and biscuits for Mr Zebra. Tea time, Mr Zebra. Wow! Mr Zebra has built the toy cupboard. My goodness, that was quick. Yes, and I've put all your toys in there too. Ooh! Thank you, Mr Zebra. <laughs> Peppa Pig! 